Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And also, welcome to the FIFA 22 Team of the Year Market Crash. Boys, it has arrived. We are inside of a market crash because of EA's content that they released yesterday. It caused a lot of panic selling on the market all across the whole game, but that Icon Player Pick SBC and the Acardi Flashback are just two of the things that have people selling cards on this game right now because people need coins to go and complete this massive 750,000 coin SBC and the fact that it's repeatable has got a lot of this market dropping right now as well. A lot of us were looking forward to this time because I know some of us also are looking for a low point, which I believe right now we have hit the pre-team of the year lows for a lot of cards. So we're going to be talking about when might be some of the lowest points for some of these cards, even though right now and in general over this next week, it's going to be a pretty favorable time for buying cards for your team or investing in cards that we think could potentially go up after team of the year starts this Friday. So we're going to be talking about all of those things today in this video. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. But let's look at some of these price drops, right? Because with these big SBCs that have come out, this is what has crashed the market before Black Friday and now before team of the year. It's been EA's content that they have released that has dropped prices on the market the most, right? Right before Black Friday, we had some big icon SBCs, the hero upgrades and stuff like that. And that started the drop off. And it's even right before Black Friday, big panic selling. Then the same thing is happening right now before team of the year. You've had prices that have been dropping over the past couple days, especially on this gold Mbappe. Take a look at this, right? Gold Mbappe oh, about uh, 10 days ago was 1.06 million coins. People have been selling this guy off since the middle of December with winter wild cards being an insane promo as well. People were starting to get ready for team of the year. We always see price drops in December. But now we have what this past week has been. As you see, Mbappe has gone from 1.06 down to about 900K. He was even 900K yesterday before the SBC dropped. Um, and then he dropped even more down to the 8. He was actually 860 for a hot second. So why this market crash, right? Again, the SBC for the player pick icon upgrade pack, right? This base or mid icon player pick. A lot of people sold cards today. If you look at prices on the market, a lot of them just absolutely got killed today because people needed to sell cards to go and fund their pack addiction. That is the number one reason why these cards are dropping on the market right now. They also re-released 83 plus attacker, midfielder, and defender upgrades and an Acardi flashback SBC that has 89% upvotes. We knew that this SBC was going to be very, very popular for people on FIFA because of the PSG links, right? The PSG links, especially the perfect link to Messi, perfect link to, to Di Maria, right? Of course, links to Neymar, links to Mbappe, all of that stuff is impacting and how popular this SBC is and how it's impacting the market. So all of those things combined also with people knowing that team of the year usually drops prices on the market anyway is why you're seeing so much sell off right now on this market. Now, let's take a look at some prices that are just down bad. Cristiano Ronaldo's gold card, 265,000 coins. He was how much? 300K before the drop off yesterday. Went all the way down to actually 255 is where he was for a hot second. But Ronaldo is low. And we were doing this comparison yesterday um, on stream, on the Twitch stream. This guy, Cristiano Ronaldo, last year at this exact same time on the PlayStation market in FIFA 21 was 1.1 million coins. Again, everything is so much cheaper in this year's market. It's crazy. But let's continue to look down the list with, of course, the Icardi SBC dropping League One strikers or down bad. This Jonathan David was 180,000 coins, dropped all the way off to 130K. He's now bounced back a slight bit. Ben Yedder with the Icardi coming out and with Ben Yedder potentially getting an inform pretty soon because of his performance yesterday. He's gone from 707,000 coins down to 533 where he is right now. And this same um, market, I guess, scenario you could say can be found if you look across the whole entire game. Anthony Martial was basically 660,000 coins yesterday. He is now 538k. We could go on for hours looking at prices. Icons got destroyed yesterday as well. This Cantona was about 1.1 million coins last week. He's now under 900,000 coins. Hullet is down. I mean, there's literally almost everywhere you look on this game, cards are just down bad. Cards are just down bad as team of the year is on the horizon. People fear 
um, you know, more SBCs, more cards, and of course, for the items that will be in packs, a lot more pack supply, and just brand new hype and SBCs for team of the year, that's what's dropping this market as well at this time. Screening R was 250K, he's now 198,000 coins. Um, yeah, I mean, literally everywhere that you look, I mean, this mbabu has been on a crazy drop off since the whole Colossus SBC and that stuff. 145K after the Zakaria objective drop. Uh, and now he is 65,000 coins. So crazy market movements, crazy prices dropping almost everywhere on the market yesterday. Um, but with the SBC being repeatable, that's what caused the drastic drop, in my opinion. I know that it's an expensive Icon Player Pick SBC, but that's what's people really love Icon Player Picks, right? And people have a lot of fun with them. It's the first one that we've had this year, and it's repeatable. That It was just crazy that SBC was repeatable yesterday. I think it surprised me a little bit, but that's what caused a lot of the market shock and market panic, right? This Joao Felix was 700,000 coins literally two weeks ago. What is he right now? 530K? Yeah, 530,000 coins for this Felix when he was, you know, 700K just a couple weeks ago, right? I mean, everywhere you look on this market right now, prices are down. And for a lot of people, they were looking forward to this, right? This Gabby Jesus was 900,000 coins two weeks ago. What is he right now? 660 on the market. One of the best Premier League strikers, the fire version, the ice version is very popular as well. Uh, you've got icons like Thierry Henry, who was 2.1 million coins. He was 185, 187 earlier today. This Garincha was 1.2. I sold him literally after Pato came out at 1.23. He was 1 million almost flat. Uh, yesterday on the market. Lucas Mora was like 600K. He was 450 earlier. Seriously, we could go on for days about the price drops on the market, but that's what it was. Yesterday was just the big content that EA released, and that's how we've seen most of the market crashes take place this year. Um, it's not just put on by people selling before team of the year. What it really has become is when EA releases insane content with how cheap the market is this year, I don't feel like people feel the need to panic sell like two weeks ahead of a big time promo coming out. They'll just maybe sell their cards the week before or, you know, they'll sell their cards when there's some insane SBCs or a big time player SBC that they want to go out and do to replace something that's in their team. So this SBC did just that on the game yesterday. Now, in general, on this market, since a lot of prices have dropped a lot, you might be asking, is this going to be the low point? Will cards go lower on this market? And it's really going to be a case by case basis for a lot of cards. And a lot of this is, you know, it depends. It really does depend because a couple things we have to think about right now. A couple things are um, number one, a lot of people have sold cards slowly over the past couple weeks because, you know, a lot of people, especially if you're watching this video, you know that like team of the year is a time where there's a lot of activity on the FIFA market and everybody expects prices to go lower. So they start selling a couple weeks ahead of time, right? We looked at Mbappe's graph. Some of these price drop offs that you've seen, right? He went down low before Black Friday, exploded after Black Friday back to 1.3 and has now been slowly dropping off with the Winter Wild Cards promo being really good putting out a lot of SP, a lot of packs and lightning rounds and stuff like that. But you've seen people sell this card off with a little bit of supply in there too. He's gone from one point almost four mil down to 800K, right? That's a really significant drop off for literally the best player in the game for the price, right? The glitch, right? 800K. There's a lot of people right now that have sold Mbappe that are looking forward to buying him after team of the year drops in the next week. So right now what you have is a lot of people have sold whether it was to fund an Icon SBC or because they know the market drops around team of the year, you have a ton of people that have sold cards on this market at the moment. What that also is, and we saw this very picture perfectly put into perspective earlier this year during Black Friday, is you have a lot of people that are now waiting to buy. They're waiting for the right moment to go out and buy cards for their team. Now, for that right moment, here's what I have to say about that. It's gonna be very, 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 very hard to find the absolute lowest point on the market. Let's say you want to buy Van Dyke headliners. He was down at 650,000 coins. I think he might have rebounded back up slightly to about 700K, right? So a slight rebound. Um, it's gonna be very hard to pinpoint the exact low point for a lot of these cards, especially if it's a card that is out of packs, like a base icon, like this base Rio. He was down at 600,000 coins flat. He's about what, 635K now? So still pretty low. 
Um, you know, Tiago Jalo was down at 320. He's back to 350. So you've seen some cards that have rebounded up a little bit. And I'm just here to tell you, I don't think that you've missed. Uh, I don't think you have to feel like you've missed the absolute lowest point, right? What you're expecting to see is these cards get devalued during this time frame as people sell off cards as we head into team of the year. And then what happens is you see people going out and buying cards back after team of the year because they get coins from opening packs. And that's when the floodgates kind of open up again. And that's when people go from waiting to buy, then they get coins, then they go out and buy cards and you see prices rebound. Wow, this Cristiano Ronaldo is still very, very low at 1.2 million coins. That's pretty crazy. So again, right now we have a lot of demand that is just sitting and waiting. I think some people maybe bought some cards yesterday, right? With some of these prices that we saw on the market yesterday, some of the drop-offs that we had, like this Tiago Jalo, was an example that I just used. He, he's been very in, he's been very high lately. 400,000 coins is the highest price that he has been since he was like in packs, right? Because of all the League One SBCs that we have had and the links that this guy has, Yesterday, he went from 360K down to 320 and then rebounded back to 360. I think some people saw these prices yesterday and said, that's cheap enough for me. I'm going to buy it for my team. Now, what I have to say is there's going to be over the next 48 to, you know, maybe even 72 hours, the next few days on this game, as we go throughout this week in FIFA, these prices are going to maintain pretty low levels across the market in general for whether it's, you know, maybe some headliners, maybe some old team of the week cards, maybe it's winter wild cards that you want to get maybe winter wild cards Zlatan as a card that you want to buy for your team around the team of your time frame. A lot of these cards are going to maintain their low levels, right? Like you're not going to see Lucas Mora this week um, unless something crazy happens and EA puts out some insane content or um, something unprecedented happens. Lucas Moore is not going to be 600K again by the time we get to Thursday night before Friday, right? Lucas Moore is probably going to stay right around this 500,000 coin range. So all you have to kind of do as you go throughout this week is, well, the number one thing you can do, as you can see, Lucas Moore went from 520 down to 450. Now he's back up to 480. So a slight bounce back. What you really need to do right now on this game is make a plan. Whether your plan, however many coins you have, what you want to do with team of the year, if you want to build a team, right? If you're waiting for this time period to say, man, I'm really looking forward to buying Di Natale for my team. Di Natale was 360K. He's now 300,000 coins. Or, hey, I really wanted to buy Prime Zidane for my team. He has dropped off a lot in price. He was 3.3. He just gotten, kind of gotten a little bit rare now as Prime Icons do. Or, you know... Kind of get your plan together, whether you want to buy a card for your team, if you want to upgrade your Prem Striker from, you know, maybe it's Gold Timo Werner and you want to upgrade it to like this Martial or Ice Jesus versus Ice Jesus. You know, that's the kind of thing that I would be doing. So in these next couple of days, we're going to see prices stay pretty low, in my opinion, especially as we head out of the weekend league and a lot of people are freshly selling. More people are going to continue to do that base mid icon player pick. That's going to continue to drain coins from the market. And what other content, whatever other content EA has planned for this week, it's not like the market's going to shoot right back up and you have to buy it right now. You're going to have a little bit of time, right? Pick the cards that you want to buy, whether it's for an investment, whether it is for your team, just start to plan. That's the number one tip that I can give you right now is in the next couple of days, figure out what you think you might want to do, whether it's building a team again or making investments, pick out those players and start watching their price, right? And when you see dips like we saw today, there's probably going to be one or two more, maybe not as significant, but just kind of hours or times on the market where you will see a lot of these cards just kind of get a little bit low, maybe because there's leaked content that is coming that is really cool. We still have many SBCs that could potentially be coming later on this week. And a lot of people right now are going to be doing that icon player pick. They're going to be doing 81 plus packs on repeat. They're going to be continually doing the 83 plus packs that EA seems to be putting out like every two days. And, you know, that's taking some coins off the market too, because people really want to do these. They, they want a chance to pack in a team of the year. So they're going to do these 83 plus packs and that takes coins off the market as well. So um, that's that would be my biggest advice to you is start planning, figure out what cards that you want to buy and just watch for them to get kind of at a price, kind of in your mind, like say, oh man, I saw that Lucas Mora went to 450,000 coins and he was 600K. This is a card I really, really want for my team. 
start keeping an eye on his price, right? See if he goes kind of low in the evening time or maybe right before the 6 p.m. content drop in the next couple of days. If you see this Lucas Mora get back to that 450,000 coin price that he was before, the prices that we saw yesterday in the peak in the height of this panic selling right here, kind of use those as like, all right, if he gets close to that again, or if he gets there or lower, that's a pretty good price. For a lot of cards that you saw a really big drop off on, like this Mora card, that would be the type of thing to look for, right? Is can I get prices that are near to that low point in the next couple of days? And then again, not worrying about, you know, wait till Lucas Mora is 450 again, then try to get a snipe at 440 so that you get the absolute lowest price. You're going to worry yourself crazy if you're thinking about that constantly. Just be thinking about for a lot of these cards. And, and when I'm talking about a lot of cards right now, I'm speaking about out of pack stuff and your most meta golds. Yes, Mbappe might not be in team of the year. Maybe he's 12th man. We don't know, right? The voting ends later today on Monday into Tuesday. So we don't know what the team of the year is going to be, whether he's going to be in the main 11, 12th man. We don't know what cards are going to be in packs. So there's always that little bit of question as well out there around team of the year, which is another reason why people panic sell. Um, but there's also so much demand for an Mbappe card like this or for a Martial or for like the Lucas Moore that we were just talking about. Maybe a Timo Werner card there's a lot of hype for or an Inform Conte, maybe even still a Jonathan David or a Barella who is down like 30,000 coins and is still a live card. So that's the stuff that I would start to do, start to plan. And I think that would kind of, I would focus on the out of pack special cards and I would focus on out of packs icons. That's where the market is going to start to rise first. And that's where people are going to invest their coins first are these types of cards out of packs, very popular uh, and stuff that is not going to get supplied unless EA pulls something crazy out of their hat like they did during winter wild cards and drop those uh, packs that are in the store. Uh, so that's kind of what I'd be doing. Make a plan, pick some cards, and just wait for their prices to kind of dip back down again in the next day or two. And, you know, that's going to be a good general rule of thumb and a general way to go about this market and to buy a card that is really low after it's dropped off a lot of coins before we do head into that team of the year time frame. So that's the best advice that I can give you because seriously, you're going to go crazy if you try to tell yourself, hey, I'm going to find the absolute lowest price of this card and I'm going to hit it and this card's gonna fly and I'm gonna make a ton of profit, right? You're gonna go crazy searching for that price for forever. So that's my best advice. We are gonna be taking a look at some specific investments, cards that always do well after team of the year in a video very, very soon, maybe even later today. So keep an eye out for that video, which will be coming on the channel soon because I know some of you guys just wanna make coins, right? And I'm gonna be taking an approach with my coins where I'm gonna be putting a lot into upgrade packs, but I'm also gonna be putting a lot into investments and trading as team of the year is a time where the market moves like crazy. So I'm going to make some investments, get involved with some stuff that we might even see rise as soon as this weekend. So we're going to be talking about that soon as well. Now, a couple other things that are going on in this market. We, we, we can't talk about this icon SBC without talking about SBC fodder, right? 775,000 coins per SBC People are rocking through this player pick right now. So of course, since this SBC is repeatable, even though it is expensive, right? It is a bit pricey, 750K. Think about how many icons are below that, that threshold a lot, right? A lot of the player picks that I've seen have been not good, but the fact that you get a choice of three, I've seen some really insane icon player picks as well. So everybody's very hyped about them. And even after weekend league rewards come out early this morning on Monday, I think there's gonna be people that go out on the market and are continually buying some fodder. Fodder will get supplied a little bit, but people aren't really opening packs right now, right? There's not much supply, which is why these prices keep going higher. 88s are over 30,000 coins. Man, yesterday when I saw this SBC get released as repeatable, I was like, oh my goodness, EA Sports. They literally wanted to drop the market today. That was their plan. They wanted to drop the market and they achieved their goal. So if you have SBC fodder still, Right now, what you've seen is a lot of people sold their 88s at like 29, 30,000 coins. There's still demand for this SBC since it's repeatable. I would slowly get those cards, list them up for lazies, right? When I list for list lazies, what I mean is like Holland right now or Sergio Ramos is going for 30,250 coins. I would list this up for like 33, 34,000 coins, a price that would be, maybe be a couple thousand coins over his normal going rate. But somebody who's just kind of lazy buying cards for the SBC to get it done, to have fun and open that player pick, 
you know, they might not look for the absolute lowest price on Ramos. So if you're a couple thousand coins over, that's what I'd be doing right now, right? I mean, you got Harry Kane, 50,000 coins for these 90 rated players. And I know a lot of you guys have bought for like low 30s, mid 30s even. You're making bank on this fodder. Um, and that also impacts the market, right? Everybody's made bank on SBC fodder. So they've got more coins now heading into team of the year to either buy cards for their teams, whether it's special cards from previous promos or icons or stuff like that. People have more coins now to get involved with some of this stuff too, which is also going to help the market rise post team of the year. So Wow, Salah bounced back very nicely. He was 990K and he's up 100,000 coins. So I know some of you guys are seeing these prices and you're like, yo, Nate, I think I missed the low point. I, I, I've got some FOMO, right? You know, I, I think a lot of people had some FOMO today because um, they saw the prices going low and a lot of people were profiting off of fodder. So that's why you're seeing some of these really rare cards rebound. You know, Salah might not get back to 990K at his absolute lowest as he was yesterday, but... Salah maybe gets in team of the year. We, we still could have a couple SBCs later on this week that are pretty hyped. Maybe Salah goes back to like 1.01 or 1.02 and you're like, okay, that's really cheap. I want to get involved. So I don't think that the market drop is necessarily done yet. It's going to be on a specific card by card basis, but seriously, watch the market today and tomorrow, these first couple days of this week. I think that's going to be a great time where you can go out and pick up some cards on the market for really, really cheap. But again, plan, right? Planning. I can't stress that enough because that's going to help you manage your coins and manage your FIFA club so much better if you know what your plan is, right? Um, whether you want to buy a baby icon because they're out of packs and they usually rise really well post team of the year or if you're just trying to snag a card for the team that you want to use for the next couple of months because you are a huge, uh, you know, maybe you're a huge Van Persie guy. You really love Van Persie. Man, he's 350K. He's dropped off a ton. And the base version of Van Persie is really hype, right? It's almost better than the Prime, except for it's got more pace but less shooting, you know, or it's somebody like this out of packs, Joao Felix, who is very, very good in this game, who was down to 520K earlier yesterday. I think right now he's 530, right? So knowing this guy was 700K, technically still has one more upgrade in him, but it's not until April. You know, that's the kind of stuff that we're going to be talking through in that video very soon about some of the best investments. And we're going to take a look at the market this year, what did well after Black Friday, and what's done well after Team of the Year in the past years to kind of pull all that together and come up with a video and specifically point out some types of cards that could rise very well as investments post team of the year. So crazy market right now. I know it's wild. I know it's like, Nate, this thing is going crazy. What do I do? Don't panic, right? Don't panic. Sit tight. Just start to again, plan, pick some cards, put them on your transfer targets, watch their prices on Footbin. I don't know what other content we're going to have today um, on Monday. The mid icon pack expires today. I know some people are saying maybe they're going to, you know, release the mid icon pack again. Since they've released the player pick, though, I, I really don't see EA Sports dropping another mid icon upgrade. I guess potentially they could just because it's really a time where they're trying to drain some coins off the game. So maybe they refresh this SBC for another time today that could take some more coins off the game and cause another little bit of a market drop. So we'll just have to see what EA does to the rest of this week to see if this market goes crazy again. Also, a quick update on our showdowns. Our showdowns with the game being played yesterday between in, um, between Inter and Atalanta, they drew nil-nil. So both Muriel and Darmian are going to get a plus one. So it's the best of both worlds. If you did either or both those SBCs, my Darmian is going to become an 88. Luis Muriel is going to get a plus one as well in his item. So I don't know how long it's going to take for them to upgrade those, but those prices or those cards uh, are going to get upgraded. So that is very, very nice. Of course, if you guys have questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'm sure there's going to be a lot because it's a crazy time on the market right now. I totally understand that. But of course, if you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. It's a crazy market. It's a team of the year market crash. There's a lot of info and a lot of market analysis to come. Don't worry. I'll be here for it. All right, boys, it's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.